The dictionary meaning of the word branch is an any subordinate division of business, subsidy shop, office, etc. To know the profit or loss of each branch, if we have got four or five branches, we are going to find out the profit or loss of each branch. Bad debt means irrecoverable money, sales return, goods return by customer, discount we discount allowed, whatever the difference comes, this is called closing balance. Hello, my dear student. I am Dr. B.S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B.S.S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Aid College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today, I am going to hand Financial Accounting 1, Second Semester, Unit 1, Session 1, in favor of branch account. In the last session, I explained the basic idea of the branch account. Today, we are going to deal a branch account. With, there are two types of branch account we are going to prepare. One is dependent branch, another is called independent branch. Generally, all the problems, generally they will ask dependent branch. And also the problem goes with invoice price, without invoice price. Today, we are going to do without invoice price. So before going that, I will give what is branch account. What are the things we have to understand? What are the format of the branch account? How to solve the problem? So in a branch account, one question will be asked for 15 marks with invoice. Another question will be asked in section B, 10 marks without invoice. I will repeat, one question, 15 marks with invoice. Another 10 marks question without invoice. So we will deal it now without invoice now. So unit one, branch account, you are going to cite types of branches, departmental branches, all these things. Now, today, we I am going to deal about this branch account, how to do the branch account. So, the dictionary meaning of the word branch is an any subordinate division of business, subsidy shop, office, etc. Expansion of a business unit, my result in pending, pending, our new branches, these are all controlled by the head office. Section 29 of the Companies Act 1956. Branches established carrying in either the same or subordinate, same activities at that state of the country. So the main idea of the branch is, I am a company, I want to expand my business. Either I have to appoint an agent, I have to open the branch. So we are depending upon not only one man, we want to expand our business, we will have another what's called branch account, which is for us. Because assume that we are in Mysore, we want to make the sale either in Chennai, Delhi or Bangalore, we will open a branch account, but they are under the control of the head office. Whatever the head office says, they have to make the sale. So they are under full control of the head office. Only petty expenses should be made by the branch account. This is one thing. So why the branch account will be open? to expand the business, but they are under the control of the head office. Here, what are the main objectives of branch accounts are? See, to know the profit or loss of each branch. If we have got four or five branches, we are going to find out the profit or loss of each branch. Then, it helps in control of the branches. Head office will control the branch account and see that we have to earn the profit. To help in actual financial position of the plan. Financial position means how much asset we are having, how much liability we have gone, what is the capital at the end of the year. What is the first point? To know the profit or loss of each branch. Helps in controlling the branches. No. Helps in actual financial position. To know the cash and goods requirement of the branches. So here, the head office wants to know how much cash is required by the branch, how to deal with the branch account, all these things. Then to evaluate the performance of the bank, to give suggestion for increasing the efficiency or profit of the branch. So all these called branches has been expansion to know the profit or law helps in controlling the branch account. What is the format? How to prepare the branch account? I have given the format of the branch account. How it what the format says no, it will go with the opening balance of assets. This is a perfect format of the branch account. It starts with 
ஓப்பனிங் பேலன்ஸ் ஆஃப் அசைட் ஸோ ஸ்டாக் டெட்டார் பெட்டி கேஷ் ஃபர்னிச்சர் அண்ட் ப்ரீபெய்ட் எக்ஸ்பென்சர் திஸ் இஸ் த ஓப்பனிங் பேலன்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த க்ளோசிங் பேலன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி லாஸ்ட் இயர் பிகம் த ஓப்பனிங் பேலன்ஸ் ஃபார் த நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர் ஸோ வாட் த லாஸ் ஐ வாட் எவர் த ஓப்பனிங் பேலன்ஸ் இஸ் தே சேம் ஷுட் கம் ஆன் த க்ளோசிங் பேலன்ஸ் தென் ஹியர் குட் சென் டு பிரான்ச் ஹெட் ஆஃபீஸ் மீன்ஸ் எண்ட் த பிரான்ச் ஹியர் Here by opening balance of liability, outstanding expenses may be outstanding salary, outstanding rent or outstanding wages by bank account, cash sale, cash received from debtor be collected and sent to the head office, goods returned to head office. If the goods is not up to the bar, goods returned to the head office. Then we'll move on. So these are all the expenditure of the branch. and paid by the head office this is expenditure of the branch paid by the head office so this is information sent by the branch to the head office to pay that for the sake of salary rent petty cash furniture and so whatever the opening balance is there you must have the closing balance one is stock one is debtor one is petty cash one is furniture one is if there is no closing balances then we have to prepare the debtor account we have to prepare the petty cash account we have to prepare the furniture account you have to remember you have to prepare to find those are closing balance of debtor closing balance of petty cash closing balance of furniture then beginning of the year the outstanding will come end of the year will come prepaid expenses beginning they will come end will come whatever the difference come the difference is called general profit and loss account if it comes on the debit side it is called profit if it comes on the credit side it is a loss so how it starts opening balance so opening stock opening debtor opening furniture opening pet furniture opening furniture first one opening stock opening debtor opening furniture opening petty cash opening prepaid expense same thing you have to count same item then goods sent to branch which are the opening or one is opening stock opening debtor opening petty cash opening furniture opening prepaid all these items should come in the close if these items does not available you have to prepare the second account then goods sent to branch then come back to credit side outstanding balance at the beginning by bank account cash sale cash received from the jar and all goods returned to returned by the if the goods is not up to the bar goods is returned by the branch to the head office all closing balance once again the closing balance are stock debtor furniture petty cash and prepaid expenses whatever the difference come it may be profit or loss then if there is no why you prepare this debtor account either to find out closing balance of debtor or cash receipt from debtor i will explain what do you mean that two balance brought down opening debtor that means we have to receive the money from our customer credit sale this year we make the credit sale once again they become the debtor to the extent assume that at the beginning of their we have got 10000 this year we make the credit sale 90000 90 plus 10 1 lakh they have to pay now we receive the cash from the debtor assume that about 20000 then we receive the br about 10000 then bad debt means irrecoverable money sales return goods returned by customer discount we discount allowed whatever the difference come this is called closing balance closing balance of the return by chance in examination no if the closing balance is given generally cash received from debtor will be missing so we are going to find out either cash received from debtor or closing balance if the closing balance is given then this item will be missing if this item is given the balance carrying closing debtor will be missed that we have to calculate then calculation of closing petty guy opening petty cash balance at petty cash received from the head office add it minus 
petty expenses paid by the brand. Whatever the balance comes, that's a closing petty cash. We start with the opening balance of petty cash, receive the petty cash from the head office, and expenses paid by the brand, that's a closing petty cash. Then, closing value of furniture. Opening value of furniture, depreciation, there's a closing value of the furniture. The same should be adopted to branch account. We'll move on to problem now. So this is a problem. Stock on 1 1 means opening stock. Stock on 31st December means closing stock. Goods return to head office. Then debt are at the beginning. Debt are at the end. Beginning is there. End is there means cash received is missing. Then cash sale is there. Cash from debt are is there. Where the cash sales in by bank account, cash sale, cash received from debtor, goods sent to branch. This is a goods sent by the head office to branch account. Check sent to branch means whatever the expenditure the branch has made, made met by the head office for the sake of salary, for the sake of rent, for the sake of wages, furniture at the beginning, prepaid at the end. So furniture you have got at the beginning, you do not have the closing balance. Prepaid end, end of the year and furniture has been depreciated by 10%. So we'll move on to answer now. So in the books of head office Bangalore, Mysore branch account for the year ending 31st December 2020. This type you have to write. In the books of head office Bangalore, Mysore branch account for the year ending. We start with the opening balance. You got opening stock of rupees 1 lakh. We got opening data 80,000. We are opening. These are all opening balances. At the beginning of the year, we got opening stock, opening data, opening furniture is there. Then goods sent to branch head office will send the goods to the branch account. So these are all the expenses met by the branch. You see that in the problem. So this is the expenditure we made. So this is the expenditure paid by the head office for sake of salary for the sake of rent, for the sake of wages. Come back here, buy goods sent to branch, that is goods returned to the head office, buy bank account, cash sale, cash from debt or total amount, we have to be sent. This is the amount sent by the branch to the head office. Then closing balance of a set, you must have stock, there is no debt or, we have to prepare the debt or account. There is no closing furniture, we have to prepare. Then prepaid rent, difference is general profit and loss account. Here, opening petty cash is this is closing balance. Opening debt are is there. Debt are at the end is there. See that? For rent is there. Prepaid at the end. Charge depreciation 10%. So here, the value of our need on the 2000 minus 10% is 200. It is 1800. So, goods sent to branch means goods returned to head office. We have got a cash sale, cash receipt from data. So, you have the closing value is there now. Then, closing balance of asset, stock at the end, data at the end has been given. Then, furniture we have calculated, prepaid rent they have given. So, whatever the reference comes, that is the profit and loss column. If we see that, no, so it will come on the credit side, it's a loss. So I will explain once again. It start with the opening balance. You have got an opening stock, you have got an opening data, you have got an opening furniture value. Put it there. This is a good sent to branch account. Then this is the expenses met by the head office on behalf of the branch. Come back to credit side. Goods sent means goods written to the head office by bank account. Cash sale say cash received from data. It is goods sent to branch. This expenditure furniture at the beginning is there. Prepaid rent is there. No, so here data at the beginning is there. Data at the end is there. Whatever the reference comes, cash received is also there. No, see that cash from data. Every item is given, so no data account is not necessary. That is why. So, closing stock is there, closing debt is given, no closing furniture is given. What's the value of the furniture? Here, 2000 minus 200 is 1800. You have to put 1800 here. Then, at the end, we have got a closing prepaid rent. Whatever the difference comes, it may be profit or loss. If we see that, so debit side is more, 
on the credit side is there whatever the difference come that is a loss goes to branch account so how it start it starts with the opening balances what are the opening balances are star debtor furniture petty cash prepaid expenses then goods sent to branch then the expense of the branch met by the head office credit side by outstanding expenses maybe outstanding salary then by bank account cash sale cash received from debtor then goods returned to the head office by the branch then all the closing balances if the generally the missing figures are debtor furniture and petty cash all we have to calculate but here in, the, in this question closing debtor is given only furniture is missing there is no question of petty cash is there so the question of petty cash won't come at the end no the difference is 42300 the total debit side is 5 lakh 91300 end up the difference is 42300 nothing but profit and loss account of that particular branch so this will be asked for 10 marks hope you understand that actually you have to prepare one debtor account one furniture account and petty cash account here the question of petty cash on come closing debtor they have given only furniture at the beginning is given so 10% on that 2000 is 200 balance is 1800 hope you understand this very very simple problem this is for 10 marks hope you understand in the next class we'll go another problem with the same idea so if the debtor is missing you have to prepare the debtor account if the petty cash is missing you have to prepare the petty cash account if the furniture is missing you have to prepare the furniture account hope you understand very very simple account z10 marks so two question will come from the examination point of view one for 15 marks one for 10 marks goodbye meet you in the next session with another prompt till then goodbye